Grace. Hello Annabelle. Today we've got more Christmas gifts for you and I hope you're really enjoying all the series of videos that we've made because we think that we've solved many of your Christmas gift problems uh, with some of our wonderful gift ideas. Yes, thoughtful and different. Yes, yeah. not run of the mill. Exactly. Now, I just want to preface this by saying that we are quite modest, aren't we? Yes. But, but. <laughs> don't we look like two little stars with our star jumpers? Yeah. A great motif, really popular. These two come from Woolovers. My one is 65 and I think yours is, is 59. I mean, yeah. And, but it's, that's not the whole story. Um, we've negotiated a discount of 20% and it's if you quote AG20. So that makes them extremely reasonable. And also a very good gift for and somebody. And what I love is, I don't know if you've noticed on Grace's, Grace Hurst, I'm not going to touch it because you know, um, but it's a sort of sparkly Urexy and all around the edge. So in actual fact, I would wear that, um, I'd wear it during the day, but I would wear it in the evening with or, a pair of black trousers. Don't you think it'd be on. great on Christmas Day? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. You look like this, the, you could be the star on top of the Christmas tree, Grace. Yeah, I might knock the tree over, but... <laughs> Anyway, so great company. They do loads of other um, jumpers as well, but these were the two that we rather liked, especially at this time of year. Very festive, aren't they? <laughs> so, how many of you out there have got loads and loads of photographs back in the day when we printed off, you know, went down to Boots and got them printed off, packed away in a suitcase or a box or a trunk, as in my case, and have not got around to putting them into albums? Um, or even you've got sort of uh, DVDs or uh, cassette reels, or all those old-fashioned things in the last century. Last century, it sounds very old, doesn't it? Yeah, but, they, it but everything did digitalise it around, at, at different things, different times, but around the turn of the century, everything went digital. Now, what you have to understand is those things that are sitting in a trunk um, in your garden shed or whatever, um, actually, most of them only have a lifespan of 20 years. So... Wouldn't it be great if you could get them all put on to digitalise for you as on a sort of memory stick? Well, you can. There's a company called Each Moment, and they send you. This looks very dull, really, but it isn't. Um, I promise <laughs> you. I'm just showing you a white box, aren't it? They send you this box. This is the cheapest. Um, I think this is about forty-five pounds. But they send you a box. You choose which size you want, and you then put in there. Um, depending on what price bracket you've chosen. But for instance, for this one, you put um, like 90 pictures or you could put 30 pictures plus um, a, a video. Video or a bit of film. Yes, or a bit of film or a cassette if you've got a recorded mm. sound. And they digitalise the whole... They then come and collect this and they return it with it on a little digital stick. Now, each... It comes with all this paperwork, which is basically little stickers that you can... You stick onto so that it comes in uh so you you, you can uh sorry, oh, sorry. Just, sorry. That, uh, that you can basically stick on each item that's the instruction manual yes right so you are uh going to stick one of these little stickers on each thing so that they know what order obviously to go in now the idea that i had is well there are two ideas really be great to give to somebody elderly, like a whole sort of thing of your, um, maybe yours and her, their grandchildren or whatever. And, may, and so that they would get this and have this little memory stick that, you know, because most old people now, don't they have laptops? They're also trendy and modern. And they could then show their friends. So instead of rummaging through boxes, they can, they've just got a little memory stick with yeah, a sort of- Especially if it's got audio, because yes. you could put favorite tunes yeah. or your, or somebody's voice. Exactly. It's, it's really so, fascinating But idea. what I'm going to do, and this is another idea for you, is I've got four children and a trunk load of uh, rubbish down in the garden shed, and I am going to um, buy one of these boxes for each of my children, and I'm going to fill it with what I think that they would like. So I will go through and get the best pictures, things, memories, funny things, whatever, videos, the whole thing, and put it in here. Wrap this and put it under the tree. I, I won't get it digitalized right now because they can then open it and, I'll, and it'll be self-explanatory with 
all of and these. And they could change a couple of things. And they could things. change a couple of things yeah. they want because, you know, there may be things that... They've they, got, you don't a even memory know. that yeah. they have that I don't have. Mm. My memory isn't great, as we all know, you know, as we get older. So it's, so the company's called um, Each Moment. I think I've told you, let me have a look at my um, crib sheet. Um, I think I've told you everything. Um, yeah, this is forty four ninety nine. that box. So it can convert up to 90 photos, all three tapes, all three film reels, all three cassettes, or a combination of that sort of, you know, uh, package of that. So um, I just think, you know, why have them sitting? Who's going to look at them? And then the other thing is, is when you're, dare I say it, passed on, They'll get this trunk load of pictures and they won't know who the people are and everything. I think this is such a nice way. And then they've got that memory stick forever because that doesn't have a lifespan. That will last forever. Do you think? I think it's really important and, and also fantastic um, for older people yes. too, um, particularly with the audio section. But for younger people, how many times have you heard... Um, a grandchild when a, a grandparent passes away and they say oh, I wished I'd talked to them more I wished I'd known more about them well you you'd always have this, this wouldn't yes. you which I think would be I really, think there are really so many ways you could bit. use it and I think memories are so important especially in this digitalized age yes. where everything is so fleeting you know I mean I've got letters from my mother but I mean which I've kept uh, which she wrote to me when I was at boarding school, but my children have only got emails. I doubt they'll keep mm. those. You know, so I'm I think, sure they've been white. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's the thing. That I think this is a great way to try and keep your memory in memories intact. Um, as you may know, Annabelle and I are always advocating a pop of colour, but I'd like to advocate a pop of shiny, glittery gorgeousness. <laughs> so um, these are from Mandarina Shoes. I just hand that one to you. Oh, where's the shoe, Grace? Well, there isn't a shoe. <laughs> you can pop these, they've got little clips on the side, and you can pop them on a handbag, on a shoe, and basically, say you've got a plain navy suede pump, you could pop one of these on and suddenly you go out for dinner or to a party and you've got your party shoes it's, but without having to buy specific shoes. Yes. So it's, it's so money thought, saving. Yeah, yeah, I would thought of, you know, you could pop it here, couldn't you? Exactly. Why not? But they they come, they're 15 pounds upwards. But I just think that, what a great oh, stocking a great, that would be. A great one. Um, yeah, they've got like a little furry one. I thought these were earrings when you turned up. No. <laughs> probably could wear them yes. no I'm not advocating that no but I'm just saying there there's a, a good range of them and they I think that's a brilliant little present fantastic mm. yeah and anyway I just want to show you while you're because I knew you were going to bring these mm. these are from mandarina shoes yeah. so look at these for a lovely jewel color rich purple as you all know I love purple um but a great little uh a boot for a little velvet boot so that if you've got a sort of plain black outfit you can jazz it up by a little jewel colour and look at those. No. Like, it's a shame Isn't you can't them amazing? inside out too. I mean just Great. the most beautiful, yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, material so I think that's silk actually. Yeah really really lovely. But aren't they cute and feminine and what a beautiful lush purple colour these have. Honestly mandarina shoes if you want something that is unusual and different uh, in your you footwear then yes you could. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, if you've got a, a skirt or something, yeah, exactly. you could do that. So you? go to Mandarina Shoes website and have a look. Honestly, well, well worth it. Yeah, look, you can put them on. Oh, I'm having, I'm having such fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, you all want a book to give uh, at Christmas, don't you? There are always, always somebody that you can't think of what to give to, and a book is the perfect gift. Well, if you've got somebody that enjoys the royal family and all that sort of stories or about them then this is the most wonderful book i have reviewed it on our website but honestly lady in waiting um, by lady anne glencona she was the lady in waiting for 30 years to princess margaret is the most wonderful book it's just full of just hilarious stories 
Um, and a lot of tragedy. She didn't have, you know, she didn't have this perfect life. No, her husband no, it wasn't great, but also she uh, she actually did uh, lose um, two of her children and nearly oh. lost the third one. So oh, pretty, really? out of five children, pretty tragic, really sad. Oh. But I listened to it on Audible and uh, it. she reads it. She's 87 years old and what a character, what a lovely woman. I she saw was, her being interviewed on TV and I thought what an amazing oh, woman she was. She says, she says things like, we would, my husband and I were listening to it together on Audible and she goes, Oh, it was such a lovely heist. And my husband said, Could you just pause the tapes? So I paused it. And he said, What is a heist? And I said, A house. And it's things like that. And us gals. And it is just, it's from, it's a bygone era that is going and will be gone. And, you know, and the dear, lo lovely, wonderful queen that she talks about in the book. And, you know, these, this is, it's all gone. You know, we talked about memories, haven't we? Wonderful. And I'm so pleased that she's written it all down so that we can all share it. And it, because uh, she wrote it because she was fed up with hearing um, bad stories about Princess Margaret. She wants to set the record straight and tell her what she was a great woman with a yes. great sense of humour. And, and apparently she was quite sniffy and difficult because she was very bright and she was bored. Yeah, and she was bored. It was a, it's a difficult role being number two, wasn't it? So, you know, um, anyway, a fantastic book. Yeah. If, my, if my dear mum, mum was alive, she would have loved to have read that. I mean, perfect. And as I'm prone to say, so easy to wrap as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Anyway, a book for Christmas. Um, now, girlfriends can be notoriously difficult to buy for, I think, yes. don't you? Yeah. Um, and I'm going to suggest something a little bit controversial. <laughs> now, I hate to think what this is. Don't give this to your sensitive girlfriends. Only give it to ones that you've known for yeah. many, many years and who won't take offence. Yeah. I have got this and I am absolutely addicted to it. It's called Miracle Blur from Trini London. It's a tiny little pot. It's just got this sort of slightly whitey pinky um, polyfiller it is basically <laughs> in there. But OMG, it works. You just take a tiny bit and you tap it on. And I put it around here because you know you get lots of little tiny wrinkles and above your lips as well. Yeah, I've got it on today above my lips. And it's it fantastic. Just fills those little crevices and I can't be without it now. I don't feel I'm looking my best without it. As I say, 26 pounds. Now for a little pot like that, you think, well, oh, it's quite expensive. I do. It lasts forever. It, it lasts a long time. Um, but the other thing is, it's always selling out. So I think that just speaks for itself. Yeah, I think everybody, everybody knows, loves yes. it. This is a real little treasure. And if you ever wanted to give me that for Christmas, I would not be offended at being given polyfiller. <laughs> given polyfiller. Polyfiller in a pot. No, but it is. It's a, a miracle in a pot. In actual fact, yesterday I did this morning with Trini London and they did my makeup and it was all uh, using her products. And if you haven't tried her products, it really is worth just trying one or two of them because yeah. they are so easy, so transportable, so easy to apply and they're so dewy mm. and moisturising and just they don't give you that dried old shriveled A bit, bit of a sort of a glow. glow. She's got the BFF cream, another miracle product. Yes, I've got that on today yeah. because it smooths you yeah. out. I just think her products actually really, yes, really good. good. We are fans. Yes. So, a couple of years ago, Annabelle, she's always giving me gifts. I do give her gifts, I just want you to know, but it just seems with these videos that she's always giving me things. But anyway, she gave me this little, well, it wasn't this one, but it was a little lipstick from the Lipstick Queen. All well and good, you think. I opened it, I turned it up. OMG, it's yellow. But guess what? This, you put it on and it adapts to the pH in your lips. And I am such a fan, in fact, it already has got a little bit peachy yeah. there. You, I'm such a fan of this. This is my brand new one that I bought the other day because I love it. It's not sticky, it stays on. The color is obviously like a bespoke color for me because it, it's, it's turned into a color that it's particularly yes, suits it's, me. Exactly, it's a sort of coronally color. Yes. And, and, and it's just a little bit moisturizing, so it's, it, it's not a sort of, uh, it's not a glossy lipstick. It's, it looks really pretty on, it's great day time, isn't yes. it? When you're just popping out and you don't want it, you just now, quickly whiz it. Normally, on. you would not give a lipstick to a girlfriend, but because this adapts to your pH in your lips, 
it it's yeah. it suits absolutely everyone it's 22 pounds um, and I think that's £22 really well spent. I absolutely love it. And thank you for introducing me to it. And we took it. Do you remember we took it on holiday when we went to Corfu together? And it didn't melt. And it didn't melt. So it you really know the heat. Is. Yeah. yeah. So perfect. Excellent. Fantastic gift. Finally, we want to mention um, a silversmith called Hersey and Sons. We have written about them before. They do wonderful, wonderful silver gifts. Everything from a tomato ketchup bottle holder... Uh, to uh, these little uh, collar stiffeners for men. That's a great gift for a man. So, um, and you can have them, you can even have them engraved. Yes. So you've Solid got, silver. Yes, in this little pouch, silver and... So to your darling loved one. Yeah. You know, and they're 50 pounds they, these ones are, but you could have them engraved too. And I think that would, for your loved one on, under the Christmas tree, that'd be just... Love it every morning that he puts his business shirt on. Yes, yeah. and then no more will you go to the washing machine to find those sort of bent plastic things. And these, another little gift for your daughters, girlfriends, whatever. They're a little silver bracelet. You can't really see it, but it's got your a birth. You choose the the relevant birthday. This little purple one, absolutely lovely, and that is forty five pounds. But it's so thoughtful. We gave some of the necklaces and things to our guest contributors. And they love them. Every single person loves so them. So please yeah. have a look at their website. Great gifts, silver. And I think £45, not bad. It, it, for something that's so beautifully made, is, is really a, a good a good. Deal. I mean, you know, how many teenagers do we know that would love them? Yeah. So have a look on our website. All these gifts are there. And we hope you enjoyed watching. And, okay. Well, more videos coming soon. Bye.